Hi, this is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can segment on distinct counts of dimension items within any dimension. This is a new functionality we've added to the Segment Builder. So let's say you are doing an analysis and you want to start segmenting that analysis based on behaviors of your visitors and you want to find the most engaged visitors. So you'll want to create a segment for some sort of attribute. Maybe they've visited more than five pages or they've purchased more than five products. To do this, you'll want to go to the Segment Builder and create a distinct count segment. So I'll take the product example first. Let's say you want to look for visitors who have purchased more than five products within a particular order. Because we want to look within a particular order, we're going to use the hit container segment. Then we'll bring over the product dimension and we'll choose the distinct count criteria. So we've long offered standard criteria, things like equals, does not equal, contains, etc. And we've also long offered some criteria that are available for data warehouse only. So we've now added what we call bumpers or section dividers here. So you can see standard criteria, data warehouse criteria, and then finally the new distinct count criteria that we're adding. So if we want to find a order that had more than five products in it, we'll go ahead and click is greater than, and then we'll be given a numeric input. So here we're looking at hits where there was more than one product purchased. And as I increment this, you'll see in the top right 90 day preview, my data declines as we get to a smaller subset of people that have ordered more. So as I click to two, you'll see that that represents 2% of our visitors that purchased more than two products within the same order. 1% of our visitors purchased more than three products within a single order, so on and so forth. So I'll change this to five because we want to look for people that ordered more than five products within a single order. And I'll give this a name and go ahead and save it. So back in my analysis, I can now bring over that new segment Holding the shift modifier, I'll add it to the dropdown that exists at the top. So now I can slice my data by visitors that ordered more than five products within a single order. I'll give you one more example uh, for this functionality. So let's say you want to look for people that not only ordered more than five products within a single order, but also visited more than five distinct pages uh, within their visit. So to do this, we'll go ahead and click the visit container. We'll bring over the page dimension. Very similar to before, we'll go down and look for the distinct count criteria. And we'll choose, let's do is greater than or equal to. And then we'll go ahead and do five. And then we can add the greater than five products segment that we built below. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna look for people that had an order with more than five products in it. Notice our hit container. And then also they visited more than five distinct pages within their visit. So I'll just give this a quick name. And we'll go ahead and click save. So this is a, a more refined engagement segment for us. Not only did these people order a lot of products, but they also visited a lot of content pages during their visit. So similar to before, I'll drag this up and hold shift and add it to my dropdown so that I can now slice my analysis by this higher engaged segment. This has been a demonstration of the new distinct count segmentation functionality that we've added to the segment builder. I illustrated a few use cases here for how you can segment for your more engaged visitors and hopefully this stirred up some great ideas for how you can apply this to your business.